Hi guys, so I'm gonna be doing a video today for um it's OBS also basically just prerequisites. If you're running on Windows, you can use NVIC or which is on NVIDIA cards on OBS 2019. I mean two two twenty nine, which is still in beta right now. That can um use AV1, which is on pretty much a forty ninety slash new Intel's. G GPU, you should if you're using an Intel GPU, that would be the best use for the new Intel GPU, other than gaming, and it would work good with OBS as long as it's fully supported. And then if you're running OBS on Mac OS or on Macs, you have to on 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 Apple Silicon you have to use um what's it called um apple hardware encoder or software encoder the hardware encoder is a little bit better if you're using apple Silicon silicon because it could take full advantage but on intel it should be software or hardware it depends because if you're running it on an intel mac it would work okay fine too either one will work but on apple silicon it should be hardware and you have to um limit what you put on there unless, unless you have an m1 max and then at that point um, because of you, you would get encoder o overload if you have like around forty five scenes active. I don't know why. Tried it, had that issue. So, um, I'm gonna show you. So basically, the same steps will will basically um, would still work with the would still work with the um, with actually Mac installed and but if you're on a Mac, you would pick AV one. I mean, AV one. Um. You would pick Apple hardware or app or or Apple sauce soft sauce software encoder. Um, if you're using, uh, if you're using a uh, um um Windows PC, it would be Nvidia or uh, Nvidia or uh, AMD or or uh, um Intel. So let me get to it. So go on here. So I'm gonna load up the computer first. So first you need to go to your web browser. This is any um one of them. For um eat Windows, you go to oh, you type in OBS and Google or go to OBS uh, I forgot what this OBS project dot com. Press download. And if you're on Apple click Apple and download the latest installer. Um, if, uh, cause uh, I've been noticing issues with Apple cell silicon on 28.1. I mean, on 2020, I was experiencing random crashes reported those already. Um, but for windows, I haven't experienced any issues, but so on, on Apple silicon, I'm still running 27.4. I'm going to update that soon, as soon as the bug bugs are fixed. Probably after 129 comes out, because it should be actually stay stable by actually then. But for this one, you want to download. So basically, if you are having issue with certain, certain issues, you press previous release right here. And then you can go down to the one that basically has the least amount of issues. Uh, which is on page two. So, um, so the, the least one that has no issues that, that I know about is, uh, is, um, 27.4, which is right here, 27.2.4. But, but you can try each of them and you shouldn't have any issues it's just the same same exact um setup for all of them but for the latest version you just click on the, the download on the main page click here if you're having mac it's 27.4.dmg for for um the portable version you have 60x64.zip um, this is for Linux, the .dep file, and then you have source code if you want to compile it yourself. And um, this is x86 or cc4. Um, if you only have an x86 machine, which means you're limited to four gigs of RAM, 
you sh might want to um use the uh, um a different software that can record your screen but if you're just doing doing streaming this is, only, is the only option other than xsplit and um since i'm getting x for this one yeah this is gonna be a bb installed once i have to finish to finish this because i don't use obs on this computer this is my server um that i have that i don't really have that's up for stuff right now. Pressure streaming. Well, I can, but use. I would have to update the CPU and GPU to solve something else. So basically, if you're basically installing the the, the base one, you just press download installer. Same on Mac OS. Um, you download the installer. X86 and 64 is for Intel, and it's for Apple Ten, which is on 64. And this is Linux. So if you're doing this on linux you can download on flat hub or build it or just download the dev file, file from 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 the previous releases so once it finishes uh, So basically, here it is. You double click this. If you're on Windows, Mac OS, just drag, drag, and drop. And uh, you press run. Press next. Next. And if you want to install it on, per se on like a on an SSD that you have uh, set up uh, for specifically for for this or a another hard drive. If you don't want it on your main drive that you send all your recordings to, put that there. Change this lo lo location. Instead of C, something else. And then, and once you do that, press install. And then, um, once it finishes installing, because because right now I, I turned off all my virtual machines just so I could show this like you. So once this uh, gets installed, it'll ask you to launch OBS. You can view the release notes if you want, but this is just for this one, but it's pretty much the same. Press next, press finish, and it'll ask you if you want to update if you're running a later version, but if you want to wanna use, because I've had issues with like 28, so I went, went, went back so i haven't really tried i haven't tried because last time i tried 28 on windows i got a crash when when when, when, when i used the stream deck saw software and so your mileage is may actually vary depending on what stream deck applications you were use, using and if they fix it so i'm just gonna say skip version so but if you already installed the latest version, you shouldn't see see that issue, that that um pop up. So it's here. It says optimized for streaming. So if you're mainly stream streaming, if like you're stream streaming mainly, this will optimize the settings for stream streaming, and this will optimize the settings for for recording. Or you can I will only be using the virtual camera. So. If you're using this mainly for like recording, you want to click this. If you're using this for training and recording, you use actually this. But if even if you select this, it will be optimized for 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 recording. But uh, but but you can still says 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 sub streaming later on. I can show you how to do that too. So basically, you press next, and so depending on what kind of stuff you actually use, um. So if you have a um if you want to upload stuff in four four K, you will set your um base canvas. So this is mainly aimed aimed at re recording. But if if you have have it set for streaming, go for base canvas would be I would set my base canvas at uh, at my resolution of my monitor or I would set it at the the resolution of my 
says, says, said, said of the resolution of what I'm streaming at, which would be normally at 720, just to save on bandwidth. Um, but basically, if I'm just recording, I usually set it to my screen res resolution. Um, which right here is just set to 1080p because of the monitor that's plugged in is a 1440. But I set it to like 1080p to like save on resource resources in my virtual machine. And so it says 1080p. And then, um, but whatever you, if you're recording, I would set it at you, your max res, res resolution of your screen. So if you have a 4K panel, I would set it to um, 4K. It'll come out as 4K, and then you can actually down, downscale it in post, or you can just upload it in 4K. Um, but depending on what resolution you want it at, 6, 60, or 3rd, 30. If you're streaming, I set it to like 30, 70, 70. 30 720p. Yes, it's a little bit loss of prime frame rates, but it's easier on the bandwidth. So, but for recording, I pick 60 highest resolution, which in this case is 1080p. And then press next. It will let's say that it will apply settings. And so, when you are using Windows, um, you already have desktop audio. You don't have to use something like loop loop back on Mac OS. You, that you have to on Mac OS or any other third 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 party um virtual sound plugs unless you're trying to add in multiple plug plugin stuff that uh, um you can't do but what I would do is if you have a stream deck uh, a stream deck plus which is the new the newer stream deck that has the the little touch screen and eight buttons that has a uh, um that has a uh, um um elgato's um wavelength saw software built in which means you can basically um have the, the wave wavelength do all the routing for you which means it's just like loopback and uh, you can just use you use that to route all of your your your, your audio into there or if you're using something like a road road procaster or a or um a um Pass camera cast four or the um focus right vo 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 caster two to do all your route routing there. So but this is just there as your main desktop. You go here to add your scenes and all of the stuff which is um screen capture, because if we go to screen capture, I'm just going to doing doing this quite window capture, it will capture the window. That's 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 open. For example, it's the only open window, which is the download folder. Uh, this one is video capture device. So if you have a um, if you have a um a webcam plug plugged in, it would appear here. You have more settings on Windows than you do Mac Mac OS, but basically, it's still the same exact stuff. Uh. Text allows you to add text scenes, allows you to put nested scenes. So, so if you have a scene over here and um it has like webcam or something in there that you wanna wanna overlay on onto your main scene, you just add the nested scene and it goes to there. For media source, you add your video files or, or like or uh, and stuff in there. And they have a a, a plugin that you can use to automatically add stuff like certain actually scenes. Image slide show allows to add images that that, that you can slice that 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 that'll go through a slideshow here. Main image would be be static. Game capture would would actually be um a, a capture of the game you're running. This one, which is display capture, which is the most interesting one uh, for actually me because of with with display capture you can capture your main display. So I'm capturing um this display capture with OBS on another computer. So um but that's like that. And then you have a color source, which is just a color color block. You you can add browser sources like YouTube video here, audio output, which means stuff that you can hear. Um 
that that can output. So this would be your your um desktop audio source for your um sound card, and an input would be like your your microphone and stuff. And also, if you have a video capture device, it will give you it will give you if you have a video capture device, it'll give you a sound output too. Just it's for like capture cards, webcams, and stuff like that. Just going through the basis. So just set these up the way you want. For desktop audio, I usually set that. As the main sound in input, which because what that type audio is, it captures the audio that's coming through, which basically outputs to your speakers. So basically, if you're if you have a capture, I mean if you have a um the audio interface, then the audio interface would be set to, to like desktop audio. So what whatever plays. Whatever plays trash through through the audio interface will will get picked up through with actual desk, desktop audio, or if you have a secondary desk desktop interface that that you have not hooked hooked up, you you will then can send the audio to like there and it'll still get picked up but it won't be picked up in your headphones unless you do a loop back to 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 like a line input port on your your actual main interface so you you can hear hear it there. But you can have two different audio inputs there. Um, fade, which is um, or the CNC transition, allows you to either add a stinger, which is a custom image, a custom video that uh, it, that can be actually played. That's super small and light, lightweight to be played in OBS. You you can put anything as a stinger there, but it has to be actually um. There and it has to be minimum thirty seconds long. I mean, thirty frames actually long. You 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 can make anything into a stinger as long as long as it's thirty frames because that's how long it usually takes. You you can make it like says sixty frames, but basically it'll stay stay on screen longer, which 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 means uh, you can have the 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 um you can have the 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 scene switch and also be actually there be when uh, when actually the transition is done that's that that would make make the thing really well you can fade in the color a lunar wipe or a or or slide or a swipe and or cut or fade and you said says it for the trif for the duration amount three three hundred milliseconds is pretty fast so. Then the set settings for the um for the for the ones that that says add on there. This is where you start streaming and also start recording. And if you're using a stream deck, you literally can just uh use uh, use a stream deck to start stop recording. And if you're using like third party software, I mean third like other software to control OBS remotely, there's software for that. But you have to set 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 up web sockets, which is a tool that's right here or that you can add here, and then, and then um also if you have a stream 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 deck, it would appear here. If you have a stream deck plugged in, I have one plugged into this computer right now, just for other per purposes. But for stream deck, you can just add the which want. I'm start recording. So for studio mode, I'm not gonna go over that one because I don't use it because of find it more not worth it. But if you have one actually monitor, you want to set up set this setting right here, which is minimized to like tray when actually re actually recording. I mean minimized to 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 tray when it started. Minimize to system tray instead of, instead of task bar. That's if you have a single monitor and you don't feel like. Minimizing each time, and you should have a hot key on your keyboard or stream deck that will start and stop recording, and you'll see a little red circle right here when it's recording, and or and when it stops recording, it's gone. And uh, that's for that for 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 streaming. Um, 
you basically go here where you're streaming to would be YouTube, Facebook, Restream.io, Twitter, and you can show all of them. But for here, you select select your service, get your stream key from uh, from the server services, put it here, or account depending on on if you're if you're on Twitch, YouTube, um, you can use account right here or just use a stream stream key, which would be probably be a lot easier. Um, go on going to hotkeys because I'm gonna do actual output last because that's the one one i'm gonna go go talk more about but basically this is where you can put hotkeys that for like you can have f1 or f2 or control alt or control alt one or control alt two or f 16 through 120 for certain stuff sorry about that um and then um, you can do source hide sources and stuff, and depending on w what uh, what stuff you add, because if you have filters, you you actually can stop certain actually fail filters with like hotkeys. Um, same thing with stream deck, but basically since you since they have buttons specifically made for for this, you actually can just uh, use the the use the um, stream deck instead of. Um, hotkeys, but the hotkeys is if if you're using just a regular keyboard, and depending on what you have here, for example, desktop audio, you can mute it and unmute it with like a hotkey or the stream 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 deck if you have stream deck, push to talk to push to mute or talk, which can't be done in the stream deck properly if you're using Mac OS, but if you're using Mac OS, you have to use hotkeys specifically for actually this this one because they don't allow you to control um. Um, audio for your audio interface, just a thing. Unless the, unless you're using um loopback. Because, because of that issue, um, I have hotkeys just for the push to push, push to talk stuff. Then for, for like video, this is where, if you're recording at four to at four K, for example, right here the base canvas would be four K. And for example, and then you want to output it to like 1080p for for for, for like uploading to like YouTube faster, or or um or 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 when streaming you want to basically put it to um 720p, 30 you just match those, and you can change change this uh, anytime before streaming. So if you're planning if you're planning on just streaming. You can change it to 720p and 30. If you're planning on recording, you set this size resolution and 60 and press apply and then you can go recording. For uh, for audio, this is something I'm not going to get real early into, but uh, you basically on here, what I do is I just set this to default i mean i just set this to, to like disabled and then set desktop to desktop audio to like disabled i said all these like the disabled and then when i basically let me just go back here so when i said all those like this disabled i would then go here and add a audio input and output for like what what do i want for a scene so if i just want to have uh, have a brb scene or be right back i would basically just have have just some kind of audio playing in here and not in my mic not in here so when i press a button on the stream deck or a hot key it would just um it would basically switch to like this scene with without mic and that means i could have the audio just separated there and have many different scenes with different audio so if i wanted to have for example an intro stream uh, a like intro um um screen like for example um some something you play at the beginning of the video each time and then you can just have have a, a multi action switch when you press a multi action switch it will go from it will go from the end it will go from your your starting screen to 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 like your to like your intro and then it'll go to like your your main scene you're actually working on or you can basically do all of this with like a single source 
I mean, with like a same scene, single scene, but just a, a switch actually source sources randomly. So, because 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 I have well, I have my stream stream deck set up specifically for the cases of recording video. I have two actual um um scene collections. I have one. That is just uh, for recording and one for streaming. The, the recording one, I have uh, I have a folder set, set up just for uh, I I have a folder on my stream deck that basically is just for all of the ones all the stuff I would need for fresh re-exporting, and when I press press one thing, I can basically switch to to uh, to actually that one and have a uh, have a uh, um intro scene if I wanted that. And then for the streaming, I have everything set on the sh on the on the stream because I have because I switch switch flip switch profile. The first profile is for stream is for recording, and the other one is for streaming. And the recording one will basically have all the set settings how how I have it for record recording, and the other one will be for streaming. And then I would also switch scene collection, which would mean I have a multi action for that on my stream deck, which which would which is really, really handy to have a stream deck for that, where you can use any Mac key key value for 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 that to like to like do the the switch switching, but the stream deck is the easiest one to like do action that with. But the but but I have all the audio here. In the side of here, and I basically just press a button activate a, a certain thing and then it just the goes through actually the, the the motions instead of me having to press a button each time like switch it'll just do this stuff aut automatically i can basically may may make a video about that which i think i did i'm not sure but the uh, um basically you you just have a, a, a single scene collection and then i mean single scene and then one one source that that does multiple things and that would be the easiest way if if you want it more 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 clean you use multiple scenes and just switch 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 in between the scenes with a multi-action or just use a multi-action with sources which is less clean but a lot easier because of because if i just switch back here real quick because as as you can see, I actually have a, um, I have a, um. Y as you can see, it's just a background wallpaper, but this is just for these simple things. So let me go back here. So, as you can see, it's back to there, and. I'm not even look looking at the screen, but but but, but I know what actually happened because I can actually see it. Um. Now, going back to settings. So going back to audio, these are um would be at default. Um, if you're trying to um monitor mon monitor actually stuff, you set this as your main mon monitor output. So if you have an audio interface, this should be it. So when you do actually that, and when you go to in here, add a audio input like this one, click here and click on advanced audio properties. You can click here and say monitor and monitor and output, which which means when you press actually this, you you actually can actually hear it through your headphones or whatever you're listening to it on you should be using headphones or some earbuds just to make sure you guys can, can can hear it and depending on a microphone so if you're having like a scarlet solo or for example a scarlet or any kind of interface that 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 only had that has a mom mono output or but so if something isn't stereo like the left output is left which is one and number two is right you basically um press the mono button and went down mix it to to mono so um it comes out of both ears so so if you just leave it the way it is it, only one side of the bar would actually light up and the other side wouldn't 
on like the audio me me meter while the while if you have it set to mono it would basically go up and down on both but if you're used using a mixer you start to, to, to do the same thing because of because of uh um you have to plug that inner the, the mixer into an audio interface and going back to here um there's these are hot keys you actually can um press for like there's to like mute for actually mark or like serve for like certain certain things with like a delay if you want but uh and then there's also uh audio ducking um is windows audio ducking which is where if you're talking and you have music playing in the background the music will actually mute i mean the music will lower down while while like your voice gets louder and when you stop stop talking the verse reverse would happen so when you stop talking the music goes back up and your and your mic level goes actually down if you have that enabled it would just uh play the audio if if, if you have that enabled it would basically do what i do actually that so if you are so if someone's talking in like the background you have have music playing or if you're not try if you cough for example or just um breathe a little bit it would make the 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 ducking activate so i'm just i would just leave that disabled unless uh you have something like noise like noise gate or or um like noise gate or um or noise prayer pressure installed i mean installed so speaking of that this is also released audio so you go to filters but what I do is if you have a noisy noisy environment when like you talk or basically um you have a mouth click because I have the same same exact thing on the OBS that I'm recording on. Um so you click here, go plus. I you would add compressor. This is basically that compresses your your audio. I add an expander just to um make it better. Because and leave leave these at default or or depending on how 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 you edit it, but this is what I I leave it on and then I ha and then I add a uh noise suppression. Then I take the noise suppression and move it up, and depending on how good your 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 C CPU is, I leave it on the high quality one. For the low quality one, you actually can control the suppression level. But this one does 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 on the fly, and then the last one I add is a noise gate specifically on this machine. I mean, I mean specifically, I was using a DBX a, a DBX two eighty six S, but uh, it was using too much. I I basically cleared out most most of my rack that's that's under my desk, and I um I was basically drawing less power because I had to plug everything into a UPS and I have two Macs running in here and also a switch and some other stuff. And so basically in this drawing tab right here is the light. And so everything's running off of that U U UPS. I didn't want to want, want, want to overload the battery. But basically I would basically put the I would put the um the I would leave this like as this, and this is perfectly fine. And so, when you go back to here, um, it would be like this, and it would get the audio perfectly fine. But since, uh, since I'm just setting this up, but I would listen to your audio, do do some test rush recordings. Be actually for you decide to like either stream or re re record the video you want want to make with it with like these settings and if you don't don't like them change them depending on how loud you talk or how close you you are to like the mic or or how noisy your 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 environment is your environment is so then going back to here going to output now. Output is uh, something, so if you see, it's basic stuff, but what, what you want to do is go to simple, where it's a simple output mode, press advanced. Advanced is where everything gets up, so 
basically when you're streaming for streaming uh usually are your audio tracks so if you notice there's one through actually six says on there and then if you have twitch vods or whatever you have it set set to or have one through actually six and if you noticed let me go back here if you go here go to the advanced properties you have one through actually six so so example if you're playing or playing or playing music during 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 the stream and you don't want it to like uh, uh, appear in of the vod or like the video re record recording that, uh, that 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 you upload like twitch or 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 like youtube for example you have the music playing playing on track uh, track two so you would deselect track uh, two so you basically only have track two you have uh, um every all of that but track two so 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 selected in i mean you you have all them these like this except for track dash two on that one and so when you do actually that you then go to where it says so that she vod you basically deselect track two so everything that is in track two won't be recorded in the vod and so basically um so basically the twitch file track will be you actually could select uh, everything so 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 if you want to uh, everything on the on the vault track to basically be here you select two for example if you want to record two or you record um one if you want to want, want to record one so basically it would just work record everything but but one so you can so select this one for vod track and so and these are the settings you you actually have so if you're using you want to use uh, um um you want to change these says settings to pay the base on the what you use and some people use ccrf some people use cbr vbr but basically i just use the cc cbr because uh it's uh, um when i do stream it if no one's using the internet so for 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 recording um um so for like encoder here it shows the different types of cpus you actually have so this is this is two x264 is cpu and invec is gpu for nvidia amd i forgot what that one is but if you have uh, have um quicksync that's that's intel um G gpu so if if you're using a um new intel g gpu or the intel um igpu will be quick quick sync while nvidia is nvec and amd is is amd's and and h264 is the is the h264 is uh, um hardware or cpu and then the last one which is uh um apple hardware encoder or software encoder so so the only thing is so and so so if you just start 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 recording now you won't have a pause button it's because of if you um go to recording it says uh, um it says right here um you encoder you live stream encoder you want to basically put this to 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 either using intel cpu as the uh, I mean intel C cpu and uh, you have a um you 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 actually can use uh, that for actually recording and then use your gpu for actually gaming or if you have an or if you have a um intel gpu and an nvidia gpu 
you can use the NVIDIA GPU for encoding. I mean, the the Intel CPU for encode, GPU for encoding, and the GPU for actually, the NVIDIA for actually gaming. But if you have two NVIDIA GPUs, you would just use one for gaming and one for uh, for for code coding. But but for actually me, I use NVIDIA because it doesn't have to do do because the NVIDIA encoders don't do do anything for for the um for the um gaming part because the NVIDIA um processor units are separate so if for here I would set the uh, um for 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 recording I would set the C Q P and set this to like when twen twenty one at most and uh, if you're using CBR like this then I or for like recording it for four K I would put it at uh, around uh uh fifteen thousand I think I missed the uh, you have fifteen thousand kilobits, which is uh for four K. If you're using uh, um ten eighty p, I mean if you're using fourteen four forty p, you you can get away with to have crisp special quality. It should be ten thousand, and if you're using uh, using ten eighty p. Eight thousand, and then if you're using a seven twenty, it should be at I use around seventy five for seventy five thousand for I mean seven seven thousand five hundred for I said seventy five thousand I said seven thousand five hundred for for like seven twenty twenty most people use I should say fifty thousand. I say seven thousand five five hundred because of that will give you a, a, a crisp range. And then um what you want to do is basically how 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 you see it says for recording format, it's set to uh, it's set to MP4 um MOV MKV TS and M3 B8. I have it set to MKV because with MKV, which is default, it would set it to um it, let's just say your 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 computer crashes, you don't lose your recording, you just you lose actually the part where like it crashed at. And if you're using an actual um if like you're using a actual um streaming p secondary streaming PC, it would basically just not crash the whole actually thing, it would just crash that part. And then, um, I set the actual um recording path to like an external hard drive or a drive that basically is only meant for getting the recording stuff. Then I press apply. And then after that, I go to advance and where it says, uh, that if you need uh, a MKV for, for editing, I mean, I mean, because most editors can't handle MKV without con conversion. And instead of um remuxing it yourself with like MP4, I mean, I mean, with 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 make MKV. I'm not making. I mean, I'm not meant make MKV. I meant handbrake. Instead of instead of using handbrake to like um re encode, you can have o o OBS do it. So you click aut automatically remux the MP4. So you're just gonna changing the container format. Press apply, and then when you start a recording, it will record the actual vid, vid video, and then it will say it, it. And then you press stop, stop, stop recording. It will save the MKV, and then it'll remix it to to MP4, so you can have it for editing. But if you let's just say you just save, save, save the save, 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 save the file. And I mean, let's say you recorded the file and instead of in the computer crash, instead of it being saved as MP4 because it didn't have a chance to remux, it just saved saved it in, into MKV because of the crash. You have file, 
then you go to Remux Recording, and then you add the the OBS recording file, the MKV. This doesn't work with non MKV files that are made with 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 OBS. Just MKV. I mean non MKV files made not with OBS, but just MKV files made with OBS. So you add the file here, and then it will output the the target to that destination where like the file was added. You it will then this will come up from being ungrayed. Press remux. It only should take a few seconds depending on on how how um how fast your your computer is and if you're recording with it, it should be decent. So and then you press close after removing it and then your file is saved and then you can record more videos. And if you have third party plugs in plugins like Docs, they would appear here. I don't mess with Docs. But basically, if you are doing like, like, like you like having a chat bot, it'll be here. Um, this is where where your Stream Deck plugin is at, and also where you would like to find other plugins for that 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 you install. Um, advanced if automatic scene switchers here, and you're pretty much done. You can do auto configurator. And you're pretty much done. And so, um, and if you just need to stream, you you actually start it up and change your your profile or or stream collection, and with like press like a stream deck button, and then you can switch switch in between them. So, thanks for watching, and uh, um, I hope uh. Um, I hope, uh, this helped. And, uh, um, because, because I found people who didn't know how to do certain things, things, things in OBS, so I tried to help, and, um, I've been asked by some of my friends to, to make, um, video and if you see the black spot that's right over here that's because of the light over here there it's not really over here so if i had another one of these the lights over here it would probably be a lot bad better and there's some some stuff i plan on doing but it's probably gonna um do after because i have my my max in like a rack and uh, the problem is I don't like it, so um, I'm going to remove the Max from the rest of the rack, put them on the shelf right here where they can still be actually reached, but they're out, out of the way because I had them in the rack because they were on the, the desk in the way. And so because one of the um, things on here is going to get replaced with like another thing once I find it in stock. so. Yeah, and the green screen might get added more over here so I can basically aim the camera this way. So, yeah, hope uh, that helped. Um, so, and if you want to know, know, know about a green screen, I can show you that real quick. Because, uh, because, uh, if we go over here. If we have a actual, um, where, where is the camera? Yeah, here, here it is. So basically, we go to here, we go to filters. As you can see, this is what it's like. Um, because of uh, because I can turn the camera more this this way because of I have the um um green screen on the rack and this is how it looks with like chroma key right here so and after that it's set up like this so so um it needs more light coming this way and uh, another green screen over there so I can turn it more this way the um, camera is kind of 
sitting right in the middle of the desk on, under my monitor. And so you really can't see my arms, but um, it's not really in the way. And also, um, if you, you can see, this is how, how how I have mine set up, which is more of a, which is more set, 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 set up for a single main OBBS collection. So basically, I have some buttons on my stream deck, and those buttons will basically so so I have a couple of of I have a couple folders. So one folder is literally just for individual bu bu button presses so so when i do actually this it basically because this one's a higher above the one that was on it so when i press again it basically just shows it as a it just shows it as a um as a, like a scene being being be, be, as like a scene being activated but it's just a, a source going 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 above it because it's layered and so each one one of these because when i have an individual stop and stop and stop and record button i just like stop and stop and record it independently and i have one that is basically pause and resume and then i have um other buttons on here that basically allows me to switch switch to something that's higher the scene one is at the very, very top. Scene two is next. Three, four is below that. And then the desktop ones are below that. And then the capture cards are below that. And so when I basically press, uh, press actually um, capture card one, it'll get sent to the capture card one. And I have to, to like depress the one that's above there. So it just doesn't show and show and show an actual image, which is a background I have there just in case. Um, I accidentally forget to actually um activate a source to be actually for that before I just um make the other one go off. And with that, with just quick record buttons, these three three aren't active, which is website info and like button. So the other ones, which is the other folder, which is just the one that has recording, which is just meant for fifteen man minute recordings, are. First one is scene one, which is, which is uh, the scene right here. But it would basically it would allow me to press scene one, and then it'll activate. It, it will activate these three actually things right here after a certain amount of time with 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 like multi actions, because because scene one will start re recording. So what 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 it'll do? It would basically turn on scene one, and then it'll start recording, and then it'll basically play, then it'll play the um the three things right here, and after it does that, it would I could continue right recording for fifteen ten ten minutes, and then after fifteen ten minutes is over, it will turn off scene one it will stop recording and turn off scene scene one so i can just uh um be prepared and i can use either scene two next or scene three or scene four and then or i can use desktop which is basically just the the desktop scene like this one or the desktop scene over here which i'll show you which i just activated and then when when i turn this one off it goes up there or when I press again, it'll go back over there. And I can turn that one off. And if I basically press the this one, which is my capture card, so because it shows the it shows everything that's that's active. So when I press this one, it goes to my capture card. And when I press this one, it goes to the capture card with a webcam. And then if I basically press this one, it goes to higher. And then I just turned off the webcam. So now if we just turn turn on this one, it goes to um there. 
And then if we go here, it goes to the next one higher above that one. And if we go above that one, it's higher. And then if we go above that one, it's the first one. But if we basically just press them off again, and, and in some of these, you actually can see actually the actual green because the, 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 the lighting isn't very, very well. But that one is how this, how this OBS is set, set, set up. And you can set it up like this, and I can actually help you with it if you want. Just contact me as long as you have a stream deck. This is actually possible, and I can help you set 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 set, set it up. So, contact me in contact in the description. And I don't have those actual um ones as activated, so I can't basically just show all the information because I don't have that set up properly. And this is just the recording folder I have on the stream deck because I have one button on here that will turn on annotations where I can basically just annotate on the screen right here, right here, just really right here. And then I have each of the same buttons I just showed you that will do it automatically. And that 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 will do the recordings on the social link stuff automatically. So yeah. And that's why I have also in this folder that has other folders and there is um something called um it is the software is called um oh, I forgot what the software is called. Um oh yeah, Screenflow. Okay, I can't remember the name. Screenflow screen screenflow is for recording OBS stuff on this screen. I mean it's for re recording OBS stuff on here. Yeah, if I need to if I need, need need to show OBS on some something on OBS on this screen that is already on this OBS and I don't feel like we're really actually making it, but if I need to record um setting up some something that's specific on OBS, I either use a um because I stopped using the other um um o o OBS one the uh, um two. OBS is on one computer because it was causing more CP, um, more um, hardware encoder o o overload. So I basically just run OBS and ScreenFlow, which is less hard hardware intensive, for showing stuff on this screen for this OBS. And if I need need to show something on on another OBS, I just load load up on another computer or virtual machine. Um, I just didn't load it up on a virtual machine because I actually didn't have the virtual machine created for this, which I should, which yeah, if you want to see that, I'll make that too. So, so thanks for watching. And I and it's also going to have, um, other stuff for, for, for like OBS for like testing why because I'm going to have it. So there's snapshot, so I can roll back the snapshot just so I don't have to reinstall OBS each time. That's an idea, um, but the only one it doesn't run on is Mac OS because I've tried it and it, it. If you hook up a camera to a um, to a um virtual machine, it just goes all wig. It gets wigged out, and if you use uh, um Linux, it'll be fine, or or like Windows, it'll be it'd be fine. But Mac OS, it's not like like unless you're using Wem or or um or Unraid or or any other um one that has direct current kernel access for 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 actually Mac OS, but if you're not using any of those for for a running virtual, I mean for for running a Mac virtual machine, then um uh. Or or Oracle um V Oracle um um V or Oracle um Oracle's um V V V V V more stuff and I don't remember the name right now because my brain is just kind of fried, and then um VMware Workstation are all don't play with Mac OS well, but it does work. Um,
And it's called VirtualBox. There you go. VirtualBox and VMware Player. Or VMware Workstation. Don't play with Mac OS well. So, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.